Hello friends, so here is another question on full wave rectifier. So the question is that in the bridge type circuit, uh, the diodes here are assumed to be ideal, okay, which means no uh, built-in voltage, no forward resistance. We have to find the average current, the DC output voltage, the peak inverse voltage, and the output frequency okay the frequency of the output voltage and it has been given the turns ratio is 4 is to 1 okay okay so now we will solve it so first we will copy the circuit diagram okay here okay So here the turns ratio is 4 is to 1, okay. This is the primary winding, this is the secondary winding. Obviously it's a step down transformer for electronic circuits, step down transformer is used. NP by NS is 4 by 1. This here is the RMS voltage, okay. The primary winding RMS voltage this 230 volt the voltages primary and secondary voltages are related to the turns ratio as this okay primary winding voltage secondary winding voltage you can write it as vp rms by vs rms or you can also write it as vp max by vs max okay now you, we are given the RMS voltage, so we will be using that, okay, this equation. So here, 230 volt by the RMS value of the secondary winding voltage is equal to 4 by 1. That implies the secondary winding RMS voltage is equal to how much? 230 by 4 which is equal to it is coming okay 57.5 volt that is very important so this here the secondary winding RMS voltage from here to here is 57.5 volt okay so in order to make my point I have to make a few changes here okay okay so here this is the secondary winding RMS voltage from here this is the RMS voltage now we know this is a sinusoidal supply AC type we know that for sinusoidal wave RMS value is equal to Vmax by root 2 that implies the maximum value is equal to VRMS into root 2. So here the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage will simply be the RMS value of the secondary winding voltage multiplied with root 2. That is 57.5 into root 2. That is equal to 81.3 volt. So here the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage Vs max is equal to this much okay Vs max is equal to 81.3 this 81.3 an important point here and a very crucial difference between center tap type full wave rectifier and bridge type full wave rectifier is the maximum voltage okay the maximum voltage here the maximum voltage 
appearing across the bridge type circuit is the same as the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage okay for bridge type circuits for bridge type circuits full wave rectifier circuits vmax is equal to v secondary max that is the maximum voltage which is applied to the rectifier circuit is the same as the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage the center type type circuits it is like this the v max is equal to v secondary max by 2 because the center tap point it divides the maximum secondary winding voltage equally from the center tap point to the other end it divides equally so for this this is applicable for bridge type this is applicable so here the maximum voltage v max for the diode circuit is equal to 81.3 volt that is very important then we have we have to determine the parameters that are asked first the average current and DC output voltage then peak inverse voltage output frequency okay the DC output voltage okay the DC output voltage VDC or V average is equal to 2 V max by pi okay 2 V max by pi V max we have calculated is 81.3 volts so it is 2 into 81.3 divided by pi 3.14 and that is equal to it is coming around 51.7 so if we round it off it is coming around 52 volt that is V output DC the same as VDC okay same average value of the output 52 volt then we have to determine the average current or DC current same okay I average or IDC okay that is equal to V output DC by RL V output DC we have determined here which is equal to 52 volt RL here is equal to how much 200 isn't it 200 yes 200 200 ohm ohm is it yes 200 ohms 200 ohm so that is equal to 0 0.26 ampere 52 by 2 is 26 26 by 100 is 0. 26 ampere okay so we have determined average current or DC current and the DC voltage okay this is equal to I DC then what is asked the peak inverse voltage okay the peak inverse voltage here okay the peak inverse voltage again to make that I have to copy this circuit diagram here okay see here uh, we understood that the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage is the same here as that of the maximum voltage which is appeared across the diodes now we know that for bridge type rectifier circuits at any given time only two diodes are conducting the remaining are non-conducting isn't it so okay so here this is the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage V secondary max the same voltage is taken as the maximum voltage which is appearing across the you know bridge type rectifier circuit so at any given time whether you know during the positive half cycle it is like this 
during the negative half cycle the situation changes this becomes minus this becomes plus so to the entire circuit the maximum you know the negative reverse voltage or the you know maximum voltage that can appear is equal to the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage which in this case is equal to how much 81.3 volt okay so this is the during the negative half cycle when one of the diodes uh, the two pair uh, pair of diodes are reverse bias the peak inverse voltage the maximum reverse voltage is equal to minus 81.3 volt the negative half cycle there the negative minus sign means the negative half cycle that okay so here do, when this is plus this is minus see this is conducting this is plus this is minus so this conducts again here minus here so this one conducts this is minus this is plus so this one is conducting during the positive half cycle again during the negative half cycle the same two which are conducting during the positive half cycle they will turn off okay when this is plus this is minus here this plus is connected to here so this will conduct this will not conduct okay these two and when this is minus this is plus okay when this is minus this is plus this will conduct okay this will conduct minus is connected to n then here it is plus so this will conduct okay and this will not conduct so at any given point of time two diodes will conduct two diodes will not conduct and the maximum reverse voltage will be the peak inverse voltage to which the diodes are subjected is minus 81.3 volt that is the peak inverse voltage okay this and another thing during the full wave rectifier as the diodes they conduct during both positive and negative half cycles the diodes they conduct during both positive and negative half cycles this is the positive and negative half cycles they conduct during both positive and negative half cycles giving pulsating dc outputs so the output frequency is twice of the input frequency so here f output the output supply frequency is equal to twice of the input frequency which is 2 into 50 hertz okay 2 into 50 hertz which is equal to 100 hertz okay this okay so here for this question first it was straightforward bridge type rectifier circuit the maximum value of the voltage appearing across the diode is equal to the maximum secondary winding voltage which we determined using the turns ratio concept then we used it to determine the dc output voltage then we determined the dc current and then we determined the peak inverse voltage which was equal to the negative value of the maximum secondary voltage and then uh, this is an important formula for any type of full wave rectifier be it center tapped or bridge type the output frequency is twice of the input frequency okay so input frequency was given here 50 hertz it was mentioned and it is twice of that which is 100 hertz the output frequency okay